Hello, bloggy friends. We were just debating on what I should call you. <laughs> bloggy friends. Today I'm going to show you how to cut up a fresh pineapple in case you've never done it. And if you have done it, you can laugh at me because I'd probably do something wrong. So it's just easier to show you than to try to type it out and explain it. So first you have to buy a pineapple. This is what they look like. You probably know that already. <laughs> Lay it down on its side. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold my right my knife in my right hand. I prefer a Santoku knife, but you can also use a large chef's knife, which looks similar, but is shaped differently. Scott's laughing at me. First, you want to cut off the top of the pineapple. This would be a good time to zoom. Zooming. Straight down. Just make sure you get the entire top, which you can tell because the big thing is attached to it. All right, you can zoom back out. Zooming out. And as a side note, this pineapple doesn't look so hot because I've had it for about a week. You don't need to know that. But if you have a fresh pineapple and you're having some type of party, this makes a great cracker holder or it can be a centerpiece of a serving tray. It's not funny. It's good. It's a good idea. You can put it in the center, put your fresh fruit around it, and then if you have crackers or something for a dip, you can put it on top. It's really cute. But I'm going to throw it away because this is an old pineapple. Okay, next you want to turn it and do the same thing to the bottom. So cut straight down on the bottom. I would go at least a half an inch up from the very bottom and toss that sucker. Okay, next you've got something that looks like this. You can see both sides. Never mind the fact that it's a little old. Um, so you want to stand it up so that it's flat and then just start cutting off the sides in small peels. Now you probably have to kind of curve your knife as you go around because the pineapple's curved and if you don't you'll end up with a whole bunch of whatever that's what is that called? A shell? Is it rind or rind, or? I don't know. Whatever that is on the bottom. If it happens it's not a big deal. You just turn it and cut it off, but the more you do it the better you'll get. So do that all the way around the pineapple. A little bit at a time. Sorry that I did not Think about how boring this is for you watching me cut off a random pineapple. So we're almost done here. Alright, toss all that away. Can't do anything fun with that. And this is what you're left with. This would be a good time to zoom in. I'm already zoomed in. Oh, perfect. Okay, and if you can see the top here, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but the very center of the pineapple is a different color than the outside of the pineapple. Yes, we can see that. That center is called the core. I'm really sorry if this is elementary and you already know this, but if you don't, it's okay because the only way I learned how to do this was by watching the video on the Food Network, so I'm assuming you know nothing. So what you want to do is cut straight down your pineapple right through the center of that core, turn it a quarter turn, and cut straight down again so that you have four quarters. Four quarters, rather. Or I guess four corners, too. Um, lay a couple aside, and I think one of them is still standing. Now, I just want to take a side to mention here, this is a good time to be really careful with your safety because you are using a knife. My knife should be sharper and it's not, but sharp knives are good, dull knives are dangerous. If you can't remember that, remember the D's. So make sure your knife is sharp and be careful because this, these things are really slippery. But you want to hold the pineapple, and I was taught at one point to kind of curl your fingers in anytime you're slicing something so that you don't cut off the tips. Um, and then if you bring your knife in far enough that you get that entire core and just a little bit more, the best way to tell is just by the color variation, but you'll also get used to it the more you do it. So go ahead and cut straight down so that the core is gone. This is not good to eat. It's a little bitter. It's a, not a very good consistency and it's not very moist, so we don't want to eat that. Pitch that and do the same thing for the other three quarters. I'd be wearing an apron. We're about to go somewhere, so I'm not, but I'd recommend it. But then you're left with four of these, and then depending on what you're actually doing with the pineapple, you'll cut it up differently. Um, typically, what I cut this for, uh, a lot of times I'll put it on skewers, and that's, I think, what this recipe is for that I'm posting it for. So in order, can you see through these? Can I see through them? <laughs> not through them. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, yes. Okay, so for this particular recipe, I would take one of these pieces and cut it in half long ways, as you can see. Then I would do a quarter turn and cut it into fourths. And I'm left with this size chunk, which is perfect for a skewer. Um, and then if I was 
taking the skewer, I think you can see later in the recipe, I would probably go, I think when I try to go through this way, it splits the pineapple, so I'd actually probably put the skewer in that way, but whatever works for you. Can you show us again? Because, yeah, can you show us again? Yes, I would put the skewer, here's the top, and I would put the skewer in sideways, but you can do whatever works for you, just make sure it doesn't split the pineapple. <coughs> so. Thanks. Then you would go ahead and do this for the rest of the pieces. Now, if you have leftover, which you probably will, because for these skewers, I think it depends on how many people you're feeding, but I used about that much. I used a half of a pineapple, so I would set that aside. Um, what I ended up doing when I actually made this, was, which was with a different pineapple, is I cut the leftovers into chunks. So I actually cut it in half and then in half again, and then chunked it. Now this is perfect for just snacking or eating with cottage cheese or putting in a fruit salad. And you see about Scott laughing at me again. Or you can just pop a little piece in your mouth. Fresh pineapple is one of my favorite things. So if you've never had it, get it. And don't ever buy the prepackaged pineapple again. Canned pineapple. I mean it's canned. So, excuse me. It works if you have to make it work. But if you can, fresh pineapple is the way to go. And it's so easy. Now you know how to do it. Thanks for watching my first vlog video.